Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. 2023 is almost over, so we're gonna be doing a list video for best basketball shoes that you can get, uh, I guess, of recently of or also of 2023, right? There's a lot of people that play on an outdoor basketball court and there are a couple of things that you need, in my personal opinion, uh, when you are playing on outdoor court, right? Firstly is cushion. You need pretty good cushion. You want nice impact protection because uh, you're gonna be playing on like, obviously, concrete, right? And concrete does not bend. It does not kind of absorb impact in any way. If you're playing on a wooden court, it does absorb impact a little bit. Like if you see the slow motion of me kind of jumping on wooden floors, you can see it like kind of caves in a little bit, right? So you definitely need nice cushion, you know? And also you need durability. Durability of the outsole is very important as well because uh, obviously concrete is a lot more abrasive on the rubber outsole as opposed to just if you're playing on an indoor wooden basketball court, right? So uh, durability, and you want the uh, rubber to be very hard, right? And also you want the, uh, I, mean, I guess it's not for everybody, but if you do toe drags, right? You wanna be careful with, you know, the upper, right? Especially like in the tip of the toe, if you're doing toe drags and stuff like that, if the upper isn't reinforced or if it's super duper thin, uh, it's probably gonna have a hole if you do a lot of toe drags on an outdoor court. So uh, obviously I'm gonna be telling uh, explaining which shoes good for what and not good for what and if you do toe drags and you know I'll be like oh this shoe is probably not the best or this shoe will be good uh, but yeah this is kind of like the general consensus consensus of like the best shoes that you can get so if you guys do want to cop any of these shoes I try to leave them the link in the description box but let's get it started right off with the AG4 by 361 degrees so this is Aaron Gordon's signature shoe and the AG4 is freaking amazing guys do not do not sleep on it. It's only a hundred bucks. There's some really dope colorways of it coming out as well. And also there is another kind of AG4. It's like a different silhouette a little bit, or it's like a high top. And it's called the AG4 Soar, which I'm super duper excited about. But yeah, the cushion, you're gonna be good to go. The cushion is very, very soft. And I, I love that soft mesh strobe board. So the foam that they're using is very soft as well. So you have a lot of underfoot cushioning. Have really good impact protection, has a nice little bounce as well. So uh, impact protection is gonna be good to go. Also, the outsole is very, very durable. It does get a little bit thinner once you kind of go into the midfoot, right? Uh, but you know, obviously the highway area is the forefoot and also in the heel. So uh, the, the rubber is harder in those areas. So you should be good to go on an outdoor court. And also for the material, right, in the toe box, you know, it is thin, but you do have some fuse. So you should be covered for toe drags as well. So the AG4 is really the epitome, like the pinnacle of best outdoor basketball shoe. It's, it's got you covered in the durability department, you know, for the upper and also the outsole and for the cushion. And the price is only a hundred bucks. Very, very cheap shoe. So yeah, very, very good option for the AG4. Next, we got the Wave Wade 8083 and also the 8083 Ultra, right? So uh, if you want more cushion, then uh, you should probably go with the Ultra. However, it's not the best for hard impacts, right? But you do have full length boots. It's soft for the cushion, so you do get good compression and bounce. But if you want to save money, right, the Ultra is 160 bucks. But if you want to save money and get the regular 8083, which is 120 bucks, then you should definitely do that. Uh, but you know, the 8083 and the 8083 Ultra are good for cushion. It's just not the best, especially if you're playing on outdoor court. So just be careful on that. But if you do want a very low to the ground feel, then you should be fine, right? But it's, it's good for impact protection, but not the best option is what I'm trying to say, right? But also the outsole is very durable. You know, you have very, very hard rubber, so you should be fine on an outdoor court. And uh, just be careful on toe drags, however. You know, it's not the most... It, it, like, the material is pretty thin. Like, there is a little bit of fuse, but it doesn't feel like it'll be the best because it's, it's on the thinner side of things, right? So, uh, the 8083 uh, is a good option, but probably not as good as the AG4. The AG4 is cheaper and seems more durable, right? And also has better cushion. All right, next we got the Player One Plus. So the Player One Plus is freaking amazing. I love the colorways that have come out uh, with the Player One Plus. It's, it's, it is a little bit expensive, but you do get two sets of drop-in midsoles, right? Uh, so I feel like it's more worth it in my opinion. But anyways, the outsole is very durable. You know, they changed it up. They gave us very hard rubber, so you should be fine for durability. Also in the toe box, we do have some fuse, so you should be fine if you do toe drags. And then uh, the cushion is very nice. You know, you have uh, the drop-in midsoles, it is a little bit better for impact protection than the 8083s, right? And also you can uh, get the support midsole. The support midsole is a, also another midsole that you can get from their website and you have a lot more cushion. It's more bouncy, it's softer. Uh, so if you get that support midsole, you should be 
uh, good to go with the cushion, right? So the Player One Plus is an amazing option, especially if you want like a Kobe-like shoe for outdoor use, you know what I mean? Which is weird, because all Kobe's, like the Kobe 11, Kobe 9, Kobe 8, terrible for durability on an outdoor court. So uh, Player One Plus, amazing, amazing option. Next, we got the Zion 3. The, the Zion 3 also seems like it'll be a very good option. The cushion is awesome, right? You have the full length Formula 23 foam. It's bouncy right underneath the foot. You have good compression, good impact protection, and then you have that zoom unit in the four for that's bottom loaded, which gives you good bounce as well. Uh, also, the you know the outsole seems very durable too. You know, you have that herringbone pod kind of thing going on in the forefoot. It's durable, the rubber is hard, so you should be fine for out, uh, outdoor use. For durability and the upper i toe drags not the best because there's not a whole lot of fuse um but it, it does seem like there is an underlying material right especially like as like a mud guard so you should be okay in the zion 3 but not the best for toe drags right but everything else is covered you know durability and cushion so zion 3 very very good option all right next we got the nike gt hustle 2 right so definitely not the best for uh toe drags you know the, the material is super duper thin so be careful on that but the outsole seems pretty durable. The rubber is very hard and we got like circle pod things going on with herringbone on it. Um, so yeah, you should be fine on the outdoor court because the rubber seems very hard. And also we have full length zoom strobel with a pretty soft foam, right? So you have nice compression for the foam and the full length zoom strobel, amazing impact protection, really, really nice cushioning setup, but also you get pretty good court feel. So that, that's a very, very nice shoe for outdoor use. Just be careful the upper. The upper doesn't seem super durable, however, right? Uh, but everything else you should be covered, right? All right, next we got the Nike KD16, right? So the KD16 is also a very nice shoe for outdoor use. Just be careful of the outsole, right? So the outsole seems like it'll be good, but definitely does not seem like it'll be the best option for outdoor use. So just be careful with that uh, because the gear, right? The kind of like softer, thinner grooves on that uh, outsole is a little bit soft. It's a little bit thin, uh, but for the most part, you have a lot of grooves and uh, on the parts that aren't like super thin, it should be pretty durable, right? And also the cushion is very, very nice. You have that uh, zoom unit in the forefoot, which is very, very bouncy. And then you have an air strobe unit in the heel. And then also you have cushion, which is very soft for the midsole. The upper also seems very durable. You know, even if you're doing toe drags, you know, you have like that synthetic material and stuff like that. So you should be fine. It's a, it seems like a very durable shoe. And uh, next we got the New Balance 2-Way V4. The 2-Way V4 is also a very, very nice option. Uh, the outsole, you should be fine. I mean, like I said in the review, I, I wish they put the herringbone where uh, the ball of your foot is because that's where the highway area is. But uh, other than that, seems like a pretty durable outsole. Not the best, but it seems like it'll hold its own, right? Also, the cushion is super duper nice. You have It's very, very thick, especially in the heel. It's soft, it has a lot of compression, offers very good impact protection. Just be careful on toe drags, you know, with that mesh material, it's probably not the best option. It probably won't be super durable for the toe box if you do toe drags, but for the most part, uh, the upper seems pretty durable. Cushion's very nice, and also the outsole seems very durable, right? All right, next, we got the Dawn Issue 5. So I've been playing that shoe, and I feel like it'll be very good for outdoor use the traction the uh the i guess where the circle like the pivot point is it's a little bit softer but you have a lot of grooves and the herringbone is very very thick and the rubber there is very hard so you should be fine for the outsole the cushion also is very nice you got full length light strike so um it's also pretty thick so you have good impact protection you have a lot of uh compression as well from the actual midsole so uh you should you should be fine for cushion as well for the dawn issue 5 and the upper is super duper durable you know it's a very very thick and stiff synthetic material. So even if you're doing toe drags, you should be fine. Very supportive shoe as well. So Don Issue 5 is a really good option for outdoor use as well. Next, we got the Harden Volume 7. Harden Volume 8 is coming out soon. James Harden has debuted the Harden Volume 8, but the 7 is also very, very nice uh, because the outsole seems very durable. You know, you have a very hard rubber and also the cushion is very nice. Uh, it is pretty low to the ground, but impact protection, you should be covered. You have boost, right? And also light strike. Your feet really aren't gonna hurt if you're playing on outdoor court with the hardens and also the upper is very durable you know you have a lot of layers it's very very thick uh, so it feels very durable as well even if you're doing toe drag so the Harden volume 7 is a great option as well it just kind of sucks because it is a little expensive coming in at 160 bucks and last but not least we got the way of wade all city 11 or the all city 11 v2 the outsole seems very durable it's a, i mean it's a chinese company it's way of wade they give us very abrasion resistant rubber so very hard rubber you have a lot of grooves you have a lot of surface area so you should be covered for uh like the outdoor durability for the outsole and then 
the cushion is super duper nice as well. You have full length boom and uh, you have a soft mesh strobe board as well. So it's bouncy, it offers a lot of impact protection. It's very comfortable. So uh, cushion, you're covered as well. And the upper, you should be fine. Uh, they did upgrade the upper a little bit in the V2, even though it's still thin. So be careful with that, but it still seems a little bit more durable than like a like the GT Hustle 2, you know what I mean? So uh, the all city 11 V2 and also the regular AC 11 is very, very nice. So anyways, that about concludes this video. These are all shoes that I feel like are going to be very good on an outdoor court. And tell me down in the comment section below if you think I missed a shoe. But that is my list. And again, if you guys do want to copy any of these shoes, I try to leave them in the link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.